Hello, I'm Ingrid Jansen. I'm a Master Gardener and a member of the Canadian Peony Society. And I've been involved with the Peony Festival here in Oshawa for many years. Hi, I'm Judy Denny and I'm a member of the Canadian Peony Society. And I've been a volunteer with this garden for 20 years. This is coming up our 17th Peony Festival. We're here at the Michael and Judy Denny Peony Garden at the Oshawa Valley Botanical Gardens. And before we begin, I would like to do a land acknowledgement. We are here on the traditional territories of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island. A tree peony is a woody shrub that does not die back to the ground. It stays up as a shrub would. You can prune it to suit your needs. They follow the rule of regular peonies in the sense that they have early, middle, and blooming times. They have single, semi-double, and double flowers. I just want to be able to look at this uh, beautiful white flower on this very tall woody shrub. And you can see the woody branches here on this shrub. And the foliage is different as That's well. That's right, the foliage is quite different. The other thing is that the petals of these flowers are very delicate, tissue-like almost. This is considered, I think, a semi-double. And you can see the different sizes of the shrubs as well. This is quite a large shrub, but the one next to it is probably almost half, half the size. Yeah. And then we have another shrub here, which is even shorter. And yet all of these shrubs were planted at the same time, am I right? Yes, they were approximately 15 years ago, yes. And again, you can see this is just coming out, and so the flowers are very bright and there's still buds to come. Some of these are almost over, so there is this time frame that, uh, that they bloom. They do bloom, usually start earlier than, than the regular herbaceous. Probably er, the second week in May, I think, is when we okay, started so, to see blooms on these. So, right, and there's um, still some to come, and some that are in what we call full bloom. I love these uh, flowers that have the contrasting flares at the base and then fade out to a much paler color towards the end of the petals. Uh, that makes a very interesting flower on these peonies as well. Uh, and, and the different colors that you get here, you know, the kind and of the, the centers lavender. of the peonies, the center with the stamens and the carpels and the little points here and there that are very different and very exquisite. And this is interesting where we see a much smaller flower. So much like herbaceous peonies, the flower sizes and colors are very different amongst different tree peonies yeah. as well. There's a wide, wide variety uh, as there is in, in the herbaceous. Different colors, different shapes, different centers, um, mm -hmm. and some not, and some with fragrance. We mustn't forget the fragrance. Some of them do have a lovely fragrance. Now, do tree peonies require any special care? Are there special conditions they need? How should they be planted in the garden? Basically, the tree peonies you treat the same as you would a herbaceous peony. They like good soil, they like sun. If you want them to bloom, they have to have sun. Preferably shaded in some of the afternoon. That is not a requirement, but because the petals are very fragile, tend to make them wilt. The important thing with tree peonies to remember is planting the tree peony. It is planted in a different way, depth-wise. The herbaceous, only an inch and a half to two inches at the most of the soil on top of the eye when you're looking at the bare root. The tree peony, 90% or perhaps more of the time, is grafted to a herbaceous. There are a few peony nurseries that will sell tree peonies on their own roots, and then you follow their instructions to plant them. But if you buy it at a store, a nursery, uh, some people online, uh, box stores sell them, they have been grafted. And the graft itself must be six to eight inches below the ground because you want the roots to grow along that woody stem not from the herbaceous root that's underneath feeding that to get going. So that's the key. If you've bought a tree peony and it doesn't bloom, 
and then it comes up with a different color that you had no idea. It's because you don't have a tree peony anymore. It died. It never got any roots. You now have the herbaceous that it was. Uh, so it's like roses, basically. Yes, when you absolutely. want to plant a rose, you want that bud union nice and deep. Um, so if you buy it in a pot, you would recommend washing the soil off so you could see absolutely. where that graft is. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. So yep. that's good. That's a good tip to know. See, normally when we have the peony festival, it's in the middle of June, and most of the tree peonies, if not all, are finished. Finished. Blooming. And we get the odd one here that will extend the season, so to speak. But it's much like the herbaceous peonies, where you can actually have quite a few weeks of bloom. Absolutely. If you have some that bloom earlier in the season and some that bloom later in the season, you'll actually extend your peony season quite a bit. Absolutely. And Ingrid, talk, talk about the difference in the colors of the forms of these petals. So here we have, um, I would say this is a, a single, or maybe uh, we call this a semi-double because there's two rows of petals. And again, it has those deep purple flares at the base and it fades off to you know a white, a silvery white. As you can see, when they first open, they're more pink. But as the flower ages, it kind of turns uh, whiter. And here we have, uh, this is definitely a semi-double. You can see the numerous rows of petals that we have here. And here, the contrast is a dark red instead of purple. And then it fades to a, a paler, um, almost a, a pinky color towards the ends. We do have a lovely yellow one here that is just starting to bloom. Unfortunately, the only bloom is hidden way in the back, but it's a beautiful yellow. Uh, I have this one in my garden, high noon. And this is probably my favorite tree peony in the garden, Judy, and I know you have uh, one in your garden as well. This is Gauguin, named after the, uh, the famous artist. And again, has these beautiful flower petals that have multiple colors on them. So they kind of have a, an apricot color and then a deeper red around the edges and then very, very dark red in the center. So we'd like to thank you for joining us at our tour here of the tree peonies in the Michael and Judy Denny Peony Garden. Uh, we will be doing uh, more videos uh, here in the garden in the coming weeks. And we'd also like to thank our sponsors, TD Canada Trust, for sponsoring our series of videos here in the garden.